Hey crafty cuties, welcome to a fun video. Today we're going to go back to another project that I am kind of recreating or redoing. I will have the older video down below where I did this once before, but today we're making these Christmas uh, wax stamp sealed envelopes using policy envelopes. I got these off of Amazon. I love this size. Um, I think it's like three by six. And I also got this super cute um, wax seal uh, gift set and I got it on Amazon as well and um, I already had some wax stamps but I didn't have any Christmas and so this came with four no I think yeah it came with four so there's this Christmas tree and then there's a Santa an angel a snowman oh wait there is five and there's a Christmas like some antlers that say Merry Christmas and I'm using that right now so I'll show you and then it comes with three wax um, right there so anyways I will be honest I don't really like to use that kind of sealing wax I really like the individual like this but either way who cares what I like we're gonna get on with it and we're just gonna have some fun and create some pockets so I'm gonna take one of the policy envelopes here and I'm actually going to what well, you know what while I'm showing you this part let's go ahead and get this started I'm gonna put this kind of off to the side here and I'm gonna do red for this one I love having a little holder like this. I also got that off Amazon. Okay, try to keep this in focus because I'm doing lots of things here. Okay, so I'm gonna glue my um, flap shut because we wanna make this look like it is sealed. And so I think that's so fun. However, of course, as always, I want this to be functional. So we're going to take our scissors and just cut a sliver you could also use like an envelope opener and just rip it open if you wanted, but this is just easy enough. And see then you can still slip something in. Oops. <laughs> and still wipe from glue. And like that. There. Okay, but let's get that out of the way. Stay on track, Jessica. So I have been kind of collaging these. So let's collage one and then we'll do the final step of sealing it with our wax stamp. Gonna just use some collage paper. Let's try to make sure we're in focus here. And I'm just gonna glue that down off to a side here. I love the look of these. So cute. Okay, um, let's see. I'll use a little bit of, I just have a bunch of scraps next to me basically with, with some Tim Holtz um, die cuts. Kind of just makes the whole process really quick and easy. Okay, let's use for this one, I'm gonna use this little die cut down at the bottom across. And then I'm gonna use this really cute vintage looking Santa. So for the upper part where we're gonna have the stamp, wax stamp, um, you can either tie some twine around like I did. That's gonna make it a little bit bulkier if you have a knot. I also use some cheesecloth and I love how that looks, but you can also do things like die cuts, which let's see if this one's ready. So I can show this one, yep. So you can do things like die cuts and I have also these like dried flowers. I, I don't think that's gonna work too well in a journal, but I wanted to try it out. I mean, I think it'll be okay, but anyways. Um, and I'm going to take a little bit of gold so we can see that image a little bit better. I think that is so cute, but let's get back on track. I'm having a hard time staying on track because I have a million different ideas going through my head today. Okay, so what do we want to do for this one? Let's go ahead. I like how the cheesecloth looks a lot. So we're just gonna use a little bit of cheesecloth and you really don't have to use anything. You could just put the stamp on. And you know what? This really pretty handmade paper looks like it has pine needles. So let's go ahead and do a little mixture here. Okay. Kind of go like that. And I mean, that might kind of peek through, hopefully. Okay, so which stamp will we use for this one? So these screw off and on. I'm gonna use the Santa head 
for, oh, is that too many Santas? No, let's do it. I'll use the Santa head for this one. I don't know why that's not focusing. I'm so sorry, guys. I really hope this stays in focus. Okay, so my wax is done and I'm just gonna, as carefully as I can, I'm not great at this. We'll get another one going as well. I'm just gonna pour that. Try, I just try to do one little pool straight down. It can be hard when you are putting the wax seal over things, but it does work. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and Now you have to let this sit for just a little bit. It really, really has to cool off. So go ahead and set that to the side. I'm gonna get, it's kind of like an assembly line whoops thing. So I'm gonna get this one kind of set up with some wax ready to go when it's ready. Now we can go ahead and finish with this one. Sorry, it's a little over the place. So I also like to use this metallic gilding polish to like um make the wax stamp images stand out and you just want to try to get the raised part okay so i'm going to take some on my hands too actually and just go around the edges because i think that will kind of tie it all in and it's so pretty yeah that's so cute i could probably put this all over i'm going to put some on this one as well because i didn't do that Okay, so we'll go ahead and finish this one and then we'll do one more together, guys. And then I have got to finish up what I'm working on today. Okay, I'm just gonna take some more of the Tim Holtz collage paper. It's just easy and I feel like it looks really good in the little corner here. So for this one, I think I'll, I'm just gonna use a little punched circle. Just try not to think about it too much like that. And let's do, maybe. I wonder if I have any more vintage stamps. I think I might have finally used them all. Okay, yeah, I did. So let's go. Okay, we already glued that down, Jessica. Okay, let's use a little bit of cheesecloth for that one since I, oh gosh, oh gosh. Starting to make a mess here. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue down here just to hold that down. And then we'll do this one right here. Okay, I think that's cute. And then I'll probably end up putting a tag in these. I'm not really sure. They're gonna go in the journals that I'm working on right now. So there's that one. We have these two finished, so the, let's see. I can I you can kind of test it out. The, not quite ready. Now another thing, if you're too nervous to do the wax seal straight onto the envelope, you can also do it on your wax paper. Or this is a parchment paper. Sorry, I don't. I think they're different. Um, and you can glue it on. I like doing it this way, but let's go ahead and just do one here and then. Maybe I can actually show you another idea for what I like to do. Um, yeah, we'll just do it straight down here like that. I'm gonna try to put this, so let's try to just go straight down. This will help give you more of a circular um, shape i think it's a little easier so there we go okay so again gonna have to let that sit for a little bit okay so now we have so many different things going on okay let's see if this one's done now probably not but i'm just trying to rush it since i'm doing the video here okay that's okay though i'm going to take some of the gold again and just kind of, you have to do it sort of lightly because you don't want to get it on the entire stamp. Oh, that is cute. And I like, I really like the um, sealing wax that came with this set, to be honest. I just wish it was in the little pellets. So there's that one. And there we go. 
So that is really fun. I guess that's probably all that I'm gonna do here on camera, but I wanted to show you one other thing in case you're working on like Christmas journals and you have some wax stamps as well. Um, another thing that I like to do with wax stamps, I wish this one was done, is make little charms. But guess what? We're probably gonna have to wait way too long. <laughs> here we go, let me just show you one because I made a video and I'll just link it below instead of redoing the whole thing. But you can make your wax stamps by themselves, and then you can put a little eyelet through the hole or you can just punch a hole and then you have a cute little charm. And I think these would be darling as Christmas wax seal charms. I think that would be so cute. If I had the time, I would probably work on that as well. But um, I really don't. So I'm just going to pour one last wax seal with you guys real quick here since this is ready to go. I'm not going to, I don't think I'll decorate the entire thing. Let's just go ahead and maybe try, let's try one that we haven't done before. I'm going to move those off to the side so you can see. Let's try the snowman. So let's see, do I want anything under this one? Let's go ahead and use this really cute, this is also handmade paper, but it looks kind of like snowy because the edges are fluffy. I don't know, is that just me? Let's do that. And then let's also put just the teeniest bit of handmade paper. It's just kind of fun to try new things, you know? And then I'll decorate the bottom off camera, but let's go ahead and just put that straight down. Okay. I'm going to have more pictures on my Instagram too, so be sure you're following me there. Okay, because that's going to take a little bit. Let's see if we can pull this one up real quick. While we do that, I'll get this going. I'm telling you, you kind of have to do an assembly line if you are wanting to make a bunch of these. Um, okay, so like I said, just pull it up and oh, I hope I didn't mess that one up. Nope, okay. I'll ink this one up here. Okay. Then take our envelope, and again, I'm gonna glue, whoops, well, glue that. Glue it shut, cut this. I should have had these like all ready to go, but that would mean I was organized today and that's not happening. Okay, and then like I said, you can just glue these straight down. I really do like how it looks by itself too, do I? Um, I'm just grabbing a die cutter too, let's see. I was gonna see if we could put that under, but that really covers that up. So no, don't like that. It's kind of cute, but it, it also really covers it up. Right? Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Did I have too much caffeine? Am I crazy? Yes, I am. Okay. Wow. Let's use a little bit of twine for this one. We're just gonna tie, so again, we have to glue that one on since we did it separate. I don't even like to do a bow because I feel like it gets a little too bulky. So I just do a simple double knot. And I really like do pouring the sealing wax over when I'm doing the twine because I feel like it really um, holds it on, or it really is a good adhesive, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't think I've tried gluing these over the twine, but it should. And you know what, actually, what I think I'm gonna do is just move the knot off to the side and I'm gonna glue this down in the center because who says that this needs to be over the knot? I think it looks good, but it doesn't feel good. Okay, wow, I really think I had too much coffee today. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that down. You just wanna make sure it glues down, but that is an option if you're too worried to put the wax seals straight to paper, but just practice a little bit, you guys. It'll be fine. It does not have to be perfect. Let's see if this one's ready so we can see what this one looks like. Okay. 
these are really good quality stamps. Very happy. I think the brand was Uniku, Uniku. But look how cute that is. Okay guys, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. I'll see you guys later, bye.